Hi there, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. This is your Science for Everyone segment, and the topic we're going to explore this week is clouds. We've got plenty of them above our heads as we speak. Let's talk about how you can identify the different types of clouds, some of the weather and the phenomena that come from the clouds, and I'll give you a couple of examples to look for next time you're outside. Most importantly, first and foremost, you want to look at how high above the surface of the Earth the clouds have formed. They could be low-level clouds, and we're talking about a mile to a mile and a half above the surface of the earth or closer to the ground, that's when you get some fog. Your mid-level or alto clouds are going to be forming between about 6,500 feet and upwards of four miles. That's about 20,000 feet in the sky. And the upper level clouds are often the ones that are highest. And we can talk and look and identify them based upon some characteristics. Let's get to the cirrus clouds, the types of clouds that often form in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Cirrus, with the Greek origin being curls or wispy clouds, often form between 20,000 feet and even higher. These are the clouds that, because of the upper level winds, get pulled apart and sheared apart, and you get that wispy look to the clouds. There can be different types of cirrus clouds. You can have stratocirrus clouds, or you can also be dealing with other types like cumulostratus or cumulocirrus clouds, excuse me. But then there's also the mid-level clouds with that same type of differentiation. Your mid-level clouds, your alto clouds, could be alto cumulus, with the Greek word cumulo meaning piles of clouds. You could have alto stratus, stratus being layers of clouds in the mid-levels of our atmosphere. And at the lower levels, we're often dealing with our cumulus clouds, stratocumulus clouds, stratus clouds like we're dealing with right now. These are the ones that often bring us precipitation and can impact us different ways with weather. Now, clouds get darker based upon the thickness. The thicker the cloud, the less light that gets transmitted through it, and that's why our storm clouds often are our darkest clouds. They have exceptional amounts of thickness with those storm clouds, like your towering cumulus clouds. There's other ones as well. There are unique varieties of clouds. We've got mamatus clouds, we've got roll clouds, shelf clouds, funnel clouds, and those aren't necessarily typical, and we don't often see them across our region. So next time you're outside, take a look. You can make piles of clouds, cumulus clouds with cotton. You can smash them together and make strato cumulus clouds or layers of cloud cover like we have above our heads, or you can certainly make those wispy ones. Just a few ways to get outside and make some observations of our environment. That's your Science for Everyone segment. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.